face down, ass up. That's the way I pay my taxes. I get a lot of girls asking me if I pay my taxes, how I pay my taxes. Of course I pay my fucking taxes. Are you crazy? Tax evasion is a serious crime. If you don't submit, you could face huge fines and possible jail time. If you're dumb enough not to pay your taxes, you won't hack it in prison. Hire an accountant, incorporate your business, save on taxes, find someone that can file for you personal and corporate right off everything you use for camming. It's that simple. Being a cam model in dating is not easy. You're gonna meet someone that is okay with your job and slowly grows resentful, or someone that just thinks that you're this sexual being that wants to fuck all the time. Just because I can bend into a pretzel doesn't mean I like that. I have very basic, somewhat vanilla sexual wants. There are people in this industry that can have healthy relationships, but I feel that's a rarity. If you're just starting out, I'm sure you want to keep camming on the down low. You have to come to terms with the fact that people are going to find out. If you're successful or become popular, they're gonna talk. You have to come to terms with that. I've lost friends. Men assume certain things of me. I'm strong enough to know that those aren't the kind of people I want in my social circle. Lighting is very important. My lighting setup kind of sucks. I have a lamp over here and a lamp over here and then lighting above me. So you want to have three or four different light sources. A lot of girls that I know get the umbrella lighting and they have this huge awesome like photo shoot setup and it looks fucking fantastic. But if you're working with a small space, I suggest getting a few lamps. I've had the hardest time with my webcams. Either too pink or too blue or too green, not clear enough. Buy a few different cams, bring them home, fuck with your lighting, fuck with your cams, fuck with your settings, and see what works for you. Most girls on the site that I go on use the Logitech 9000 or the equivalent of. When I first started camming, I would go on my food cams and I would study the girls. What they charge, what they do, what they ask for. For new girls starting out, that is my biggest piece of advice. You just jump on there not knowing what the fuck you're doing or what to charge. You're gonna do a cum show for like 30 bucks. Guys on there aren't gonna help you. My biggest philosophy in life is you teach people how to treat you. That goes for every aspect of your life. People are going to test your boundaries and see what they can get away with. I do it, it's human nature. Lay down the law right away with what you will and will not accept, the easier your life will be. Don't let people talk to you in a way that makes you feel bad. Just because you're getting naked doesn't mean you don't deserve respect. If you're providing a service, you should feel confident and strong. I can't stress enough about saving your money. It's exciting going from a shitty job to camming. You have to be smart. I don't see wealthy, smart people walking around making bad financial decisions. They would not be there if they did. Instead of getting ahead of yourself and buying an expensive car and renting this fancy ass apartment, think about the future. Set yourself up. You're not going to be camming forever. That is bad financial management. Take advantage of the situation that you're in. Go to school, make investments, start a business. This is a fantastic setup job. It's not a forever career. I hope this helped anyone that is becoming a cam model or considering it. I don't speak for everyone, but five years in the industry, these are the important things that I thought I should touch base on. Thank you everyone who continues to watch my stupid YouTube videos and show me love online. I appreciate all of you and the haters.